Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and today I wanted to talk about Molten Brown. So actually this uh, Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilettes came in 2020, but as you know from 2020 it was locked down, um, at least in Europe it was very hard and um, yeah, most of us we could not go nowhere um, to buy anything because everything was closed. So some months ago, I was walking around and I saw this one and I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a try. So this is um, Molten Brown from UK. This is 50 milliliters and uh, the name is Fiery Pink Paper. This one is Eau de Toilette. So um, actually, my... 2019, but probably at the end. Anyway, I slept all, all year 2020 and probably part of the 2021. So, um, kind of like rediscover it. This, um, on the top notes, you have pink pepper, ginger, and ginger, very, very, very nice and beautiful worked. Then you have tangerine and nutmeg. What is tangerine, you would say? Well, tangerine is, you would call it orange. Okay, so then we have the middle notes as usually and in all these nice perfumes. You have jasmine, lily of the valley, uh, which is um, a beautiful um, white flower. And then you have Osmanthus and Labdam, uh, Labdanum. And then at the end, what you have on your skin, uh, at the end is musk, cedar, patchouli, and oak mousse. This one is an eau de toilette, but it performs as eau de parfum. I have dry skin, nevertheless, on my skin, easily four hours, five hours, and even more. And if you um, moisturize your skin, I bet that you can have uh, as long as probably six hours with this one. Um, the price at that time, it was, um, well, 20% discount. So I, I, I always pay much less than the original price. I think I paid around 50 euros, something like that. Um, there is also a version uh, as Eau de Parfum, I think but I, um, I didn't see it and I didn't need it actually because this is uh, enough. And there is 100 milliliters too. As I, I am based in Germany, this I bought it uh, in a German business, very known, uh, the name is Douglas, but you can find it all over. Um, I think it's very nice. It's not, it is heavy, but not so heavy. But the most important is actually uh, the smell. That is the most important. It says that uh, apparently it is unisex, but I would say that this is more female sort of uh, perfume. And a little bit mature. I mean, not... I'm not by mature, I'm not saying, you know, 40 is up or, you know, but already from 35, I think this is m more for a woman. I would not see it that it goes uh, so well in someone younger. Um, 
No, I would not uh, see it for someone who is uh, around 25 or 20 years old. That, mm, it doesn't fit. Um, but someone already with, the, you know, already a personality already shaped. Um, this is uh, probably the one. Um, what would be the time to, to wear it? Any time. Uh, I think this is also good for office for going out for the streets and um, in terms of uh, season I would wear it any season but you know for those people who are very strict uh, on on the smell of certain uh, perfumes uh, probably yeah so spring autumn, winter, but as an eau de toilette, any time is okay, but I probably would say, yeah, maybe the cold season and uh, during this period, March, April, that will be it. So that was it for today. I hope that um, you liked and uh, yeah, uh, I have another one that I bought that is fantastic. That is another level. This one is the first class of perfume. We're going to talk about the other one, which is a wow. Okay, thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you soon. Bye.